Summer break is officially over for Preble High School students and classes are back in session. A fire damaged Green Bay School's gym last month pushed the school start date back nearly two weeks. Well, today we caught up with a few of the students to find out what it's like to finally be back on campus. And a few of the teachers also told Fox 11's Gabrielle Mays how they're adjusting to the longer school days. Clothes, backpacks, and shoes aren't the only new things that can be seen at Preble High School. You could say the school itself looks brand new. The school is really clean. That's because last month smoke traveled throughout the building. A restoration crew had to clean it from top to bottom. Some students say the first day of class is different than in years past. Usually the first day of school we have a big pep assembly and we, you know, get all the freshmen like pumped up and ready to start school and it's been different having to deal with not having that anymore, but I think we'll be fine. While some students say they're happy to be back. I was kind of ready. Others say. More summer is always good. Now the building you see behind me is the gym. The inside and surrounding area is off limits except to the restoration crew. And school officials say they expect the gym to reopen next month. Most of the um, pieces that were in the gym have been moved out. Okay. Um, right now, I guess if I were to define it, it's uh, just an open shell. And it's starting the process of renovation. In the meantime, some teachers say the late start has had its challenges. Um, I work towards the AP test, which is in May. And because of our two-week start, I had to really decide what do I cut out um, and what can I still cram in with a shorter amount of time before those tests. But despite it all, it's quite a relief. School officials say it's nice to have students and teachers back inside the building. In Green Bay, Gabrielle Mays, Fox 11 News. Now, the number of minutes of instruction for the school year at Preble will not change. Each school day, however, will be 18 minutes longer. That's two to three minutes per class period to make up the state-required time lost without adding days to the end of the school year.